Here's my story in a nutshell. I have had wrist pain for many, many, many years and gone to my doctor who finally, after yelling at me to do something about it, I received um, a referral to Dr. Vendor, who is a surgeon, a hand surgeon. And I had carpal tunnel surgery last March on my left wrist. It was painful, it was awful to recover from. Um, I went through physical therapy, three different sessions, and continued to get pain. Continued to sprain my wrist doing that. Um, I couldn't carry a coffee cup, I couldn't brush my hair, I couldn't drive my car, I couldn't turn the wheel, couldn't open a door. I was shopping at the mall with my daughter and she was carrying my packages and opening the door and she's so sensitive of the pain I was in. And Dr. Queenie had a, um, a an exhibit, if you will, and she and Dr. Engel had chairs, the massage chairs, free massage, come sit down. So my daughter, who loves to do this stuff, says, oh mom, we're still going to do this. So I get in the chair and they start to touch me and I say, I said, don't touch my hands, don't touch my wrists. And they're like, well, why not? And I'm like, because they hurt all the time. Um, so they said, you know, we can help you. So I, we have a free consultation. So I said, yeah, free is a good price. So I um, came here and had a consultation and the initial exam and the staff was fabulous. I mean, I know you hear that from everybody. The staff is fabulous and friendly and um, real, real concerned. So my initial treatments had been like strength training, the physical therapy, and I was constantly spraining my wrists in physical therapy. So Dr. Queenie took a totally different approach. She said, we're not going to strength train you. I started with um, acupuncture and acupressure massaging. Um, to loop to number one to stop the pain, which which is a matter of days with the acupuncture was gone. So I am a firm believer in it. And then the massaging and the back alignment and and I started to feel a lot of the stress release out of on my shoulders. Because she took the approach that it's not just here that it could be the the pain could be channeling from somewhere else. So she took that approach and then after several weeks of the massaging, um, I went to a physical therapy, but it was stretching. So it was a lot of really, what seems easy to most people, but a lot of stretching and, and then went into strength training. And this process, I've been here since, I want to say March, and this is now July. So it, it was several months and it was three times a week, but I think it was the whole approach of my whole body and my posture and you know my back being straight and my muscles being loose and the, and then the strength training after that it was the whole approach that I gotta tell you I'm not only pain free I'm sitting here right now not in pain and five months ago I would have been in pain sitting here um, but I I'm doing things like picking up a coffee cup and it doesn't hurt and I'll brush my hair and it doesn't hurt and I'll open my car door and it doesn't hurt. And that is such a huge, huge thing to me. So I know that I, I'm still paranoid because the little things would hurt me so badly that I'm still cautious. So I'm still going to continue the exercising and the training at home because I want to keep the strength up because my goal is to avoid carpal tunnel surgery on my right hand, which is where I was going. That was my next option with um, the surgeon was, uh, you know, let's do, let's cut this hand open. And that's when I said, I, I don't want that again. It was awful. Um, so I, I, I feel like I'm there. I don't know what's going to happen years down the road, but I think that if I keep the, the training, the strength training as Dr. Queenie taught me how to do it, which was to, which was to elongate the, the muscles and to stretch the muscles out and then do the strength training. Um, I just couldn't be more pleased. I really couldn't be more pleased because I'm pain free and, and I'm getting strength back. I can pick up a dinner plate. The bad news is I can pick up a pan. I'm now washing pans. I went several months I didn't have to wash dishes because I really couldn't hold them. So that is back in my life, but as is simple things, riding my bike. I'm riding my bike. So thank you, Dr. Queenie.